but we're going to roll with that. So I'm going to go ahead and take all this setup down here, the, uh, the vertical head. We're going to take this off and I'm going to set up the uh, horizontal and we are going to give it a, give it a try doing our slab milling on this, uh, on this fixture plate. I'm working on my setup here, getting my final shims put in place. These are some very thin uh, 3 thousandths and 5 thousandths and 10 thousandths shims that I'm spacing out. What I've been doing is uh, setting the, the cutters up in here. And <clears throat> measuring with my uh, calipers in between the two cutters there. And I think this time that I should be just a just a shade over 12 inches, which is what I was wanting there. I'll tighten all this back up and then check it and see where we're at. But that is uh, so that's our setup I did decide to go ahead and do this in a, uh, a climb mill setup because I don't have any clamps that's on top of this uh, fixture plate holding it down securely so even though we're really not taking a lot of metal I just didn't want to take the chance of it actually picking it up out of those jaws there so we'll run this back get everything uh, <clears throat> tightened up always always loosen and tighten the arbor nut with it being supported if you do it without it on there you could spring this and uh, bend the shaft looks like we're we are right on it I'm getting 12 uh, 1000 it's over 12 inches there It looks like we're going to be right on it right there. So even if it's off a few thousandths one way or the other, it's not going to hurt anything. But I was certainly trying to get it right. So I kept adding the little shims right in here because I was about 10 to 15 thousandths off. And then whenever I would tighten it up, it would compress it more. So luckily I had all those very thin shims in there. So I think we're ready to roll now. All right, guys, we've got the K&T set up. So this is what it's going to look like right there. That is our gang mill set up. The direction that I'm going to be cutting this, the cutter be going that way, so we'll actually be cutting in a uh, climb, a climb milling position right there. But I do have a uh, backlash eliminator. <clears throat> See, uh, climb milling, conventional milling, so that will help eliminate the uh, backlash in the nut there for the for the machine. So the reason why I wanted to do it that way was to um, eliminate any possibility of picking this up out of the jaws. You know, when you've got a toe clamp holding something down, you don't really have much to worry about as far as lift there. But in the vise, you do have to worry about lift. So even though we're only taking a small amount on each side, I didn't want to risk uh, pulling that up out of the vise. So we're just gonna try our climb mill and hopefully the machine is gonna handle it okay. We're gonna be taking approximately an eighth of an inch off each side. And I've been uh, measuring the, uh, the cutters there to uh, get them the proper width. I've actually got to uh, go in there and install another shim because we're about 5,000 shy, about 11 inches, 995. So I'm going to keep shimming. I've got some very small shims. See, I've got this little bag of these little shims here of all different thicknesses, you know, even some of these thicker ones like that. So very handy to have when you're trying to set up two cutters to have an exact spacing. So we'll get that adjusted right and we'll be ready to start making some cuts. All right, here we go. Making sure I got everything locked. We got the table locked, we got the knee locked. Everything is locked. I 
think it's going good so far. stopped it because we did start getting a little bit of chatter out here so I've got a machinist jack right here pushing up on the center on the other side I've actually got like a, a t-nut and a bolt up inside here pushing up on it and I'm hoping that that maybe will help eliminate some of the chatter I don't think it's gonna get it all out of it but as long as it's not moving the part I think it's gonna be okay so let's go ahead and get started back on our cut again All right, that seems to be doing better. Well, besides my little bit of out of squareness that I had on there, I think everything went pretty good. Once I added this jack and that other little bolt through there, it uh, stiffened up this uh, center section from uh, the harmonics in it. So this is a little bit frustrating right there, but I, th I guess that'll just be our little secret right there. Nobody's got to know about that, right? It was my fault that I didn't actually check how square it was on the table. I was assuming that the ends were going to be square enough because I, I square up this jaw here with the table. So I had assumed that I had plenty of metal there, eighth of an inch on both sides that was going to clean it up. So uh, something to be learned right there. If we set these up again, let's go ahead and indicate it and make sure that we are running nice and straight with our uh, table axis there. But it's not going to hurt anything for what this is used for. It's definitely not going to hurt. but does hurt your pride a little bit when you screw up and it's not the first time I have but um, our gang setup worked really good that that did work out really nice so 
We are done with the uh, K&T milling off now. I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up, get the mill cleaned up, vacuumed, and we're going to pull this out of here. And, you know, we may go ahead and I may go ahead and get these ends milled uh, while, while things are set up. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I just I got another operation that I want to do that's using the horizontal setup. So we may just take this out and then we'll come back to it to finish out other stuff later. Some of y'all probably wondering where I hit on my uh, my size anyway. I'm sure, we got the dust off of it. So we're just going to check it with these digital calipers here. I'm not trying to over squeeze them or anything. Looks like we're 997, maybe 998. So I just say 997. So it looks like we're maybe three thousandths under our uh, 12 inch width right there. It's going to be uh, perfectly fine. I was thinking it was going to be about three thousandths over that, but I was wrong again. All right, let's get this thing out of here. <laughs> 